What's up guys, I'm Welcome back to Software and Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Biomutant. Yes, Biomutant is a very popular game right now and a lot of people are playing this game but a lot of people are also having the problem of having low-end gaming PCs or low-end gaming laptops and they're getting like game stutters and just the experience in the game is very poor and they're getting low FPS. Now today I'm going to show you what you can do to get more FPS out of this game and it works perfectly fine and I'm going to show you the proof. I'm not just going to make a video and not show you the proof of the FPS increase, no stutter and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys this is for everyone out there. It doesn't matter if you're a laptop user, a desktop user, a gaming laptop user or a gaming desktop user. It doesn't matter. This is for all users out there and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to do some Windows tips tricks. I'm going to search some graphics tricks and I'm going to show you what you can do inside the game. All right, let's jump straight into it and let me show you what you need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you go down to the little search button over here. You click on it and you type in graphics settings just like this. You type in graphics settings. It will pop up over here and you click on it. Once you clicked on it, what you're going to need to do is switch this on if you have this here switch it on if it asks you to restart your pc restart your pc or laptop because this is highly recommended to switch this on it will boost your fps in game now what you're going to need to do next is go to the little browse little button here and go find your biomutant where your biomutant is installed if it's on steam you go to steam steam apps common and go find biomutant wherever your biomutant is installed on whichever hard drive it is you go and find the game and you find the exe file once you found it, you go to options, you select it, you let it come in here, you go to options, you go to high performance, and you let it choose your graphics card. It does not matter what graphics card you are using. If it's an HD Intel graphics, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the selected at high performance and your graphics card that you're currently using, it doesn't matter if you're an AMD user, an NVIDIA user, uh, Intel HD graphics user, just select your graphics card, all right? and say save once you're done with that you close out of this tab i'm going to show you the next step now the next step that you're going to need to do is go to the search bar again and type in edit power plan just like that it's going to come up like this and you click on it once you're over here you're going to click on power options and we're going to create a new power plan for biomutant all right so what we're going to need to do here is you go to high performance you click on high performance and you just click here and type in Biomutant and you just say next and now you have a power plan for Biomutant. So you say never never and say create Once you're over here now it's selected for Biomutant You go to change plan settings and you click on change advanced power settings You click on this now yours might say 10 minutes here or 20 minutes in this year where it says hard disk It says turn off hard disk after you do not want your hard drive to turn off after 10 minutes or 20 minutes So just go into this box and type in zero and say apply once you're done with that you scroll all the way down now for laptop users this is very important and it's also very important for desktop users for laptop users you are going to get two options here for desktop users you are only going to get one option so you're going to go to processor power management you click on the little plus sign you go to minimum processor state now for people with laptops it's going to say on battery or plugged in you click on the plus sign and you change them both to 100 just click on the box delete everything inside there and type in 100 say apply and scroll down and make sure where it says maximum processor state click on the plus sign that it says 100 percent once you're done with that you click ok and you close out of this i'm going to show you one more step that you're going to need to do all right so what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to the search bar over here and you're going to type in run once you typed in run, it's going to open up the run tab like this. You press shift 5 for the percentage symbol, type in temp, shift 5 for the percentage symbol, and press enter. Once you're over here, you open up this box, click on anything here, press control and A, highlight everything, right click on it, and say delete. Just say skip, because Windows is currently using that file. So let it delete everything, close out of this box, empty your recycling bin, just like this. There you go. Next thing you're going to need to do is go to the search bar again and type in run again. There's also an easier way to do this. Just press the Windows key on your keyboard and R and it will also bring up the run tab. And now you're going to type in prefetch just like this. And you're going to say continue. You click on anything here, press control and A, right click on it and say delete and say skip. 
Windows is currently using these two files, so just close out of it and then empty your recycling bin again. And there you go. Once you're done with that, if you're a NVIDIA user, I'm going to show you what you can do with NVIDIA. If you're a NVIDIA user, if you're an AMD user, unfortunately, I'm not an AMD user, so I won't be going over any tips and tricks for AMD. But if you're a NVIDIA user, stay tuned and I'm going to show you what you can do. All right, so if you're a NVIDIA user, you just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel. If you do not find this on your desktop or when you right click, all you need to do is go to the search button over here and type in NVIDIA control panel. All right, so I'm going to go to my NVIDIA control panel. Let the video control panel open and the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the adjust image settings with preview and you go to use my preference and you change this to performance and you say apply. Now with my graphics card that I have, I don't need to change this. This is for low end PC users to say apply on this where it says performance and then go to this option over here, right here and go and select your graphics card. Do not select your CPU. You do not want to bottleneck your CPU or you do not want to use your CPU for this game, you want to use your graphics card. So select your graphics card and say apply. Once you're done with that, you close out. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do in the game to get more FPS. And I'll show you the proof in game of how you're going to get more FPS out of this game by just tweaking some settings inside the game. All right, let's jump straight into that. And I'm going to show you what to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in Biomutant right now. So I'm doing about 121 FPS in game. Now, let me just show you what you're going to need to do. All right, so you go to the settings and you go to the video tab. Now, you always play this in full screen mode. It doesn't matter if you're a laptop user or desktop user. Play this in full screen mode. Trust me, just play it in full screen mode. Here, where it gives you the resolution options. Now, if you're a laptop user, it will give you the highest one. It will stop somewhere here, depending if you do have a 1080p laptop or a 1080p display, or if you have a 1080p monitor for people that's using computers. Now, choose the highest resolution that you, your monitor can actually go to. Just choose the highest one. I do not play this at 4K because then obviously I'm going to lose FPS. So I play it at 1080p. Now, where it says this virtual sync, which is V-Sync, just turn this off so it won't cap your FPS. It will be uncapped. So now what we're going to need to do is this. Where it says change brightness, you can change the brightness to about, let's make it 62. And so it says space to save it. This one over here, sharpening amount. What you can do is you can bring this down to about 12 and then keep that there. Dynamic resolution, you're going to turn this off. Okay. This way it says render scale, you keep this on 100. If you want to get more FPS out of your game, you can do the render scale to about over here where it says 90 and you'll get more FPS out of your game. Right. Okay, so what you're going to need to do here, my preset is on max because my graphics card can handle this game on max perfectly fine. But where it says shadow quality, okay? So texture quality, you keep high or you keep it on high. Sorry, you keep it on high, not max. Keep it on high where it says shadow quality. You put this at low. Where it says post-processing quality, you put this at medium. Where it says effects quality, you do not need the effects. So you put this at low. As you can see, my FPS is already boosting. So what you're going to need to do here, you, where it says density, you put this all the way to medium. Anti-analyzing, you're going to put this on either low or you can put this at about medium size, would be fine. Where it says object detail, you keep this on high or you keep this on medium. And as you can see, my FPS already increased a lot. Okay, so what you're going to need to do next, I do not know why they put this option inside here to save these settings once you're done. I do not know why they put this option in here, but yeah, it's by a mutant. Where it says depth of field, turn this off and you'll get more FPS out of your game. I don't know why, but it actually works. Where it says field of view, you can play around with this because this is your own personal preference. I like mine at 110, so I just keep mine at 110. And then I'm just going to close out of this, just press escape. And there we go. Look at my FPS. Now in game, my FPS would be fine. It would be at like 200 and this is how you boost your fps ladies and gentlemen it works perfectly fine go try it out and see if it works for you if this works leave a like leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new here and as always peace out